Hey, and welcome back. I had a lot of users recently tell me that they're receiving this error message from Discord, either when they just finished rebooting their computer or they just started up the application. This is a JavaScript error and it usually means that there's something wrong with the application itself. Uh, so I searched around on the internet looking for a patch that where we could possibly just fix the application instead of reinstalling it. But unfortunately I had no luck. In fact, not only do we have to uninstall the application, but we have to actually remove all traces of it. So that's what we're gonna do and I'm gonna walk you through that right now. So before we begin, it's worth noting that a min access on your PC may be needed because we're gonna be deleting profile folders on your PC that may or may not require admin access. For this to be done correctly, you need to follow all the steps. Don't skip any steps. I'll be putting all the steps that we're following right now in a blog post and link it in the description. So if you need to walk through it again later on, or if you wanna share it with someone, you can easily do that. So I'm gonna start off where most users are, where either the app is there, it's kind of running, but not really running. And what we wanna do is actually kill it off completely. So if we wanna to go to task manager, we're gonna go into the processes tab. And inside here, we're gonna look for discord and we'll right click and end task. Now, if you can find the one with the white icon, right click on that one and task, and it'll kill all the processes related to it. So you can go through the entire process list. Uh, it's usually in alphabetical order and just look under D. Make sure that anything related to Discord has been ended and shut down. So next what we want to do is uninstall Discord from the computer. So what we need to do is go over to the start and then click on the settings icon. And inside here, we're going to be looking for apps. Once you find apps, click on it. And then below under apps and features, we have a search bar and then you'll find Discord in the list and you can select it and then click on uninstall. Okay, so once it's been uninstalled, we can go ahead and then close this window. Before we continue, we need to refresh and update the computer's group policies. So to do this, we're gonna click on the start button and inside the search, just type in CMD and the command prompt will open up. We're gonna right click on this and run as administrator. Say so yes to the prompt here. And then inside the command prompt window, what we're gonna type in is GP update. So GP is group policies and then update. This is all one word and then space forward slash force. So this is gonna force the change, hit enter. It's gonna update the policies. This might take up to a minute or so. It shouldn't take too, too long. Once it's done, it'll let you know and then we can close the window. So everything's been completed successfully here. We can go ahead and close the window. And now what we wanna do is remove any leftovers of Discord. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna click on the start button again. And inside here, we're gonna type in run. And inside the run window, we're gonna type in percent sign, app data, percent sign. And then you can hit enter or click on okay. And inside this folder, we're gonna look for Discord. And here it is, we're gonna right click on it and then once you found it, once you found it, you can right click on it and then select delete and it's gone. And we're going to do this process again. This time we're going to be looking for a separate folder. We'll click on start in the search field. We'll type in run and in, we're just going to delete what we had in here before. And now we can type in percent sign local app data percent sign. It's all one word, no spaces. I'll put this all in the description as well. Hit okay. And inside this folder, we're gonna look for Discord again. We'll just right click on it and select delete. Okay, so we can close out of this window. So now we've removed all traces of the application. Those are usually the two folders that they're hidden. So if we just uh, take a look inside the recycling bin, you can see that the two folders that we had deleted are in here. And just for, just to be 100% sure, we're gonna empty the recycling bin and all the contents. And now we've removed all traces of Discord. So what we can do last is just restart our computer. So we'll just click on start and then select restart and let the computer restart. And when we do this, it just refreshes everything on the system so we can do a clean installation. Okay, so my computer's just booted up. I'm just logging in. Okay, so you can just go over to your favorite browser, open it up, and then you can just go to the Discord URL. The direct one is discordapp.com. And then hit enter, and then we can go ahead and download the Windows installation here. Now we can download the Windows file, click on the setup, 
So we'll just open this up and it's going to automatically try to install the application right now. So it's just doing a quick update as it does its installation and then we should get the login window. Okay, perfect. There you go. So we've completely cleared out all traces of Discord, reinstalled it, and now we have a fresh setup. This should resolve the issue for you. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give us a like. And if you want more helpful solutions like this, you can subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.